Hey, Olivia, who are we going to draw today? Cheddar Max. Yeah, Cheddar Max. Uh, what is Cheddar Max? It's from Bluey. Yeah, it's Bluey's favorite toy or one of her favorite toys. And we really like Chatter Max and we love Bluey. So we thought it would be fun to draw Chatter Max. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers and some crayons and also paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Oh. We're gonna put Chatter Max off to the side. We'll put her, I think it's a her. We'll put her up there. Him. Oh, or him. <laughs> and then we're gonna use our markers first to draw all of the main shapes of her little toy. We're gonna draw the beak first and we're gonna draw the letter U right in the middle of our paper. Now, if you want to draw Chatter Max with the mouth open, you could draw the U really tall or you could draw it smaller if you want the beak closed. I'm gonna draw it tall. I'm gonna draw it really tall. I'm gonna draw it like this. I'm gonna come around and then come back up. I want to do it really, really tall. Really tall. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and then you could also make both of these sides equal. So this side could come up a little higher so that it's the same height. Maybe up to there. Yes. Okay, then we're gonna draw the top of the beak. We're gonna draw an upside down U to connect it and it looks like a big kind of jelly bean. Oh, I like the little bump at the top too. <laughs> Okay, now let's draw the beak. We're gonna draw two short lines that come in. So we're gonna draw two right here. You could draw like right there and maybe one over here too. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the bottom of the beak. We're gonna draw a smaller U right here in the middle to connect. Yeah, and if you had a smaller uh, shape for the beak, then you, you could leave this next part off if you're gonna draw the beak closed. But we're gonna draw it open. So we're gonna draw another U shape inside for the open mouth. So you go down and match the outside, come back up. Yeah, and then at the very bottom, we're gonna draw a little curve for the teeth. Now this next part, we're gonna fast forward, but we're gonna color in this inside part of the mouth. And you guys at home, if you wanna take time, you can also pause the video and color in your beak or your drawing too. Now we're ready to draw the eyes and we're gonna draw two oval shapes, two big oval shapes, and we're gonna start in the middle of the beak. So I'm gonna start about here and also right here, you could draw two little guide points or I could add them there too, one and one on the other side also. And then we're gonna draw, yes, we're gonna draw a big oval shape. We're gonna come all the way over to the other side of the beak. So I'm gonna start here. We're gonna come up, around, and then we're gonna come back down and then connect in <laughs> yes. Giant eyes. Giant eyes. And then we're going to draw that same shape on the other side. We're going to come all the way over. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> then I'm going to try to draw the same size eye over here also. And that's okay if they're a little different, right? Yeah. And it's okay that our two drawings look different. They don't look exactly the same, but they're both turning out awesome. Yeah. And it's okay if your drawings look different too, because the most important thing is to have fun and practice. Yes, have fun and practice. All right, you ready to keep going? Yeah. Now let's draw the inside of the eyes or the pupils. We're gonna draw an oval about this size on both eyes. Mine is gonna be a little bit big. A little bit big. I have a little <laughs> giant eyes. Little giant eyes. <laughs> then we're gonna color in the pupils on both sides. Actually, I forgot one more detail. We need to draw one more line around each eye. So I'm gonna start here. We're gonna trace around. We were gonna draw the feathers first, but we got to draw the outside of the eyes. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side to match. I'm going to come around and then connect. Okay, now we're ready to draw the feathers. So let's start by drawing a, I'm going to draw a U shape that comes out to the side and then we're going to come back in. And then let's draw that same U shape on the other side too. So we're going to draw, trying to match since it's symmetrical. That's a big word. Do you know what symmetrical means? Nope. It's the same. If you were to fold it right in the middle or fold it together, it would match. So we're gonna draw the same thing on the left and also on the right. So let's draw another feather right here. We're gonna draw it coming out like this and we're gonna come around and then connect in. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Come around and connect in. And then we're gonna draw another one, comes around like this and then we're gonna connect in. Well, I'm gonna get a little bit bigger so I could get the feathers on top of the eyes. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw one more feather. I'm gonna draw this one maybe even a little bit bigger to get it to come around more. There we go, and then this one too. Really and good. mine aren't exactly symmetrical, but that's okay, we're practicing. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw, ooh, we could even draw the feathers that go up a little higher when you turn on Chatter Max. 
they get more feathers, right, with the yep. lights. Let's start by drawing one coming straight up right here. So I'm going to draw it right here. I'm going to come up, and then we're going to come back down. And we, well, Cheddar Max is going to fill our whole paper. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. So there's one, and then you could draw another one over here. These are purple, and they have lights on them. Then we're going to draw another feather that comes out that's really big. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So let's draw three more. We're going to draw one here. Yep. And then we're going to do one more right next to it. There you go. Let's do two, those two feathers over here before we draw the last one. So I'm going to draw one more here and another one coming straight out to the side. Yes. And then one more aimed down. This one's not as big, and we're aiming it more down this way. We did it. We added all the feathers going around Chattermax's eyes. Now let's start on the body. We're going to start here and draw a line that connects in between the eyes. So I'm going to draw one right here. Yes, and then we're going to draw a line coming down from the side of the eye, and we're going to stop right about there on each side. Yeah, right there. That's a good spot. And then we need to draw the wings. So let's draw an upside down U shape. We're going to start by drawing like this. Oh, an actual, maybe a letter J. So one side's longer than the other side. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, but we're going to draw the inside line longer. Yes. Okay, now let's draw the feathers. So we're going to draw it coming out like this. And then we're going to draw one bump. Yep. And then another bump and then connect into the top. Yes, let's do the same thing. We're going to come out a little further for the those little feathers on the outside of the wing. Yeah, <laughs> there's the two wings for Chattermax. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of the body. And we're going to start here. We're going to draw a curve that comes around and then connects to the other wing. So we start here. We're going to come around and then we'll connect into the other wing. What are we missing down here at the bottom? The feet. Yeah, the feet. Let's just draw two ovals. We're going to start in the middle and we're going to draw a kind of a wide U shape. Yes. Oh, I like how tall your feet are. And then we're going to come out like this and draw the other foot. And then let's draw the two toes on each foot. We're going to draw two lines in the middle. Oh, yeah. And you could also connect them all the way up to the top if you want. Or you could just leave them down there small, too. I like that. Draw. Yeah, there you go. Draw. Draw. <laughs> we did it. We finished drawing Chatterbox. Except we're not completely done. We still need color. Oh, he's going to look so much better all colored in. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you could pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Let's tell our friends what we've done so far. We are coloring with our markers, our Art for Kids hub markers, instead of our cramps. We decided to change. And um, if you have the same set, you can use the same colors that we're using. We first used 35 yellow for the beak, the eyes, and also the feet. We also used it for the tips of this feather, and then also we're adding lights on the bigger feathers. And then on top of the yellow, we layered 24 orange. That's to mix the colors so we could get it a little closer to what Chattermax looks like in the TV show. Yeah. And now we're switching to our green, 166, and we're coloring in underneath the eye and also in between the eyes. And then we're also also going to color a little shape for the belly. So I'm going to draw a little curve. It comes out like this. Oh, you're doing a great job. There we go. Yeah, and then we're going to color. There you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do a little. I like it just like that. Yes, you're doing great. And then we're going to color in the belly with the same green color. Let's fast forward more and we'll tell our friends again what we're doing on the next part. Now we're using our light purple. This is number 75 and we're coloring in the body. And also we colored the tips of each of the feathers and added a few more circles for the lights that aren't turned on. Now we're using our dark purple. This is number 83. We're coloring in the rest of the feathers and around the light part, the light purple on each feather. And then also the wings. I forgot, we needed color and the tip of this inside feather, the first feather, up here at the top on both sides. So this one, 
color in the top there and also the top there. And then we're gonna switch to our light blue, number 76, and we're gonna color in the bottom part of those feathers that have the yellow on the top. So this one, and then also this one, and then the same on the other side. Now for the last feathers, we're gonna use two pinks, a light one and a dark one, 17 and 87. 87 we'll use for the tip of the feather, just like we did with the yellow. So we're gonna color in just the, the very edge of the feather on all of the ones that we have left. Color over here too, and this one. Then let's switch to our light pink, and we'll color in the rest of the feather. Olivia, give me five. Oh, Chattermax, give me five. <laughs> I especially love how your drawing turned out, Olivia. That is the cutest little Chattermax I've ever seen. She looks like she's going crazy. <laughs> You can pause the video right now to match her same coloring. You could even add a background. Oh, maybe Bluey's in the background. Oh, yeah. Trying to chase her to turn her off. <laughs> <laughs> we used our markers to color with, but remember, you don't have to. You could use whatever you have at home. You could use crayons or even colored pencils. Or maybe even watercolor. Oh, if you painted this, that would be really cool too. We've had fun drawing Cheddar Max with us. <laughs> we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.